I'm Natalie Thomas in for Gary Archibald. Today it is Thursday and it's an active day across Atlantic Canada. Not the stormiest you've ever seen, but we're certainly picking up, I'm going to say precipitation in Atlantic Canada because depending on where you are, it's different. The green on the radar representing rain, blue snow, and if you ever see pink popping up, it's either a rain snow mix or even some icing. We're talking freezing rain and in around Moncton, you know, you had about four, five, six hours of it earlier today. So we still have some snowfall warnings and winter storm warnings in New Brunswick in particular. This is all wrapping up as we head through the night tonight. So I can show you this next map and it does a good job of representing when the storm is going to be easing. Now tomorrow is going to be slightly cooler in the Maritimes, warmer in Newfoundland ahead of the low. So it's going to be a rainy day tomorrow in Newfoundland. But you can see everything's pretty much done tomorrow through the Maritime provinces. If you go to our website, theweathernetwork.com, and you type in your hourly forecast for Halifax, for example, by 10 o'clock tonight, the potential for flurries is done. Fredericton until about 1 a.m. tomorrow morning. So there are still a little ways to go until we get into very early tomorrow morning. But most of the heavy snow is done, uh, the Gaspé region of Quebec could pick up an additional 15 centimeters of snow. But while we're in the Maritimes, let's check in with Mr. Nathan Cole. Thank you very much, Nate. And the article by Dana Vatis is great. It is on our website. Well, you have to remember when you're talking about weather, and this storm is potentially a week out, the closer you get to an event, the more specific you can get about a forecast. So we don't want to scare anyone. We're just preparing you that there is a potential storm where it's tracking, whether we see rain or snow or winds. That's what we have to, to keep our eye on. There's actually a storm before that that could impact Ontario in the south though not so much a storm it's going to be rain because it's going to be so mild and that's more so Tuesday into Wednesday so watch for some rain showers and eventually you can see that storm there that's the potential storm those white lines are isobars the closer they are together the windier it is if anything it's going to be windy more so than anything else so that's the storm to watch as we head in British Columbia over the last couple of weeks this is as of December 16th so a, a couple of days ago now but Vancouver has already seen 40 millimeters of rain more than you usually see in the month of December it's a rainy month anyways for British Columbia, for Vancouver, and we've seen even more than our regular average or our seasonal average. Now, at this point in time, we could be seeing some pretty steady rains from now right through until Saturday morning and around Vancouver, we could pick up a good 40 to 50 millimeters of rain. Temperatures, and you may not notice it today or tomorrow, but through the weekend, gradually, your temperatures will warm back up again. This evening, minus three in Calgary. You may be feeling slightly cooler when you factor in the winds, but even your wind chill values right across the prairies tomorrow morning, not as cold as you are used to and really not as cold as you tend to see at this time of year. Uh, by the way, this evening in Ontario, you may see a few flurries through cottage country, but it is relatively quiet. It's a temperature story for you as well. The deeper the blue or the purple, the colder the air. And actually, as we head into next week, we have some pretty mild air setting up in southern Ontario and even a pretty mild weekend ahead. Thank you very much, Nate, for that. We always give him the best assignments, don't we? The good news is for Nate and everyone in the Maritimes, if you're sick of the weather you're dealing with right now, it's all coming to an end as we head through the night tonight. This is a look at just some of the numbers. This is as of this afternoon, so even this, you can add on, tack on a few more numbers to it. Uh, but in terms of snowfall amounts, Bathurst, 26 centimeters of snow. That will likely be closer to 30 or 35 by the time all is said and done. Bathurst could still pick up another 5 or 6 centimeters of snow tonight. And then it's about 7, 8 o'clock in the morning when the floor flurries finally taper off for Bathurst. But you can see it right here. Even Fredericton still seeing the flurries through this evening. Uh, the heaviest of the snow is certainly done. And then tomorrow morning, things are looking a whole lot better. But blue is snow. And you can see green is rain. And there's not much of it left in Nova Scotia, although the rain is going to be picking up in Newfoundland tonight through the day. Tomorrow, 5 to 15 millimeters of rain right across Newfoundland, including St. John's. We do have some winter storm warnings and snowfall warnings still, specifically in New Brunswick, in that wind warning for the Rec House area of Newfoundland. Winds tonight, tomorrow could be gusting well over 100 kilometers per hour. And again, it is going to be predominantly a rain event across Newfoundland, but for western Newfoundland, when temperatures, or I should say where temperatures are a bit cooler, you could actually see some snow to start and to end, just depending on your on your temperatures at that time of the day. But specifically for St. John's, it does look like a rain event for you. This evening at 5 degrees, and you'll be well above seasonal through the day tomorrow as well. But do keep in mind, with the rain and mild air, you have some stronger winds. And around the Avalon, sustained winds tomorrow could be anywhere from about 40 to 60 kilometers per hour. Okay, so that's the weather. I'd say the most active weather across the country today, across the east, and we'll get to the west in just a moment. But as we get closer and closer to Christmas, it is the season of giving, and Kasia Bajorka has more on 
Thank you very much, Kasia, for that. Always a, a great reminder. It seems to be, you know, every event you go to at this time of year, you can always drop off some non-perishable food items. So it's an easy thing to take part in. As far as this evening is concerned, I mean, feeling like minus eight in Toronto and Hamilton, it's chilly. It's not the end of the world chilly. Uh, but even northern Ontario, not seeing extreme cold. It'll be feeling like minus 15 or 16 in around Pickle Lake. Uh, but really, we're looking at some pretty seasonal, typical temperatures for this time of year. Let's take a look at Winnipeg this evening through the weekend into early next week. So what's happening? on the west coast we have you know pacific system after pacific system the moisture is not spilling over the rockies but the warmer pacific air is and it's not going to be hot across the prairies uh, but it's certainly going to be above seasonal as temperatures continue to climb but what does that mean for british columbia it means an awful lot more rain and really today through tonight into tomorrow we could be seeing in vancouver a good 40 millimeters of rain heavier amounts in house sound for example in squamish and of course in around tofina where you've seen so much rain over the last few weeks so really that unsettled pattern continues until monday for the coast of bc monday is looking like your nicest day of the long range add on a few more centimeters to the north and really you could maybe add on a few more centimeters through tonight but the good news I can give you in the Maritimes is that the worst of it really is over at some point later this evening we are going to see most of these watches and warnings coming to an end the wind warning in Newfoundland the rec house area that will likely stay in place tonight as you're still going to see some stormier weather through the day Friday but this is really all ending through the overnight hours and you can see on the radar as well there's not a lot of activity going on you can almost see the spin of the low uh, going counterclockwise but blue is snow there's the green is rain and there's a bit of pink in there as well that's a bit of freezing rain or rain snow mixing but there really isn't much left at this point in time Fredericton may pick up another centimeter of snow a millimeter of rain in Halifax Charlottetown overnight likely seeing a centimeter or two uh, but again this is additional snowfall on top of what you've already seen and the heaviest hit areas will be in around the Gaspé region of Quebec granted in Newfoundland as I mentioned Friday is still going to be a very windy day especially around the Avalon watch for some pretty steady winds around 40 to 60 kilometer per hour sustained winds on Friday and then 5 to 15 millimeters meters of rainfall across the board, including St. John's. Okay, so that's the story in the east. In the west, we have some significant rain on the way for British Columbia. I can actually show you some of those numbers right now. And these are rainfall totals, by the way over the last couple of weeks. So as of the 16th, Vancouver has picked up nearly 200 millimeters of rain. Usually in a month, the month of December, you get about 150 millimeters of rain. There's rain and there's fog and there's low lying cloud cover. And unfortunately, this is your forecast, at least through the weekend. Things break up by Monday. Monday's probably the nicest day in your long range. But this is going to be a really rainy next 24 to 48 hours. Vancouver in particular could pick up a good 40 to 50 millimeters of rain. Squamish obviously could pick up some heavier amounts, house sound, the regular areas. Now, as far as the moisture spilling over the Rockies, we're not really seeing that like we saw in previous weeks when all these systems come along the West Coast. If anything, we're going to see some warmer Pacific air moving over the Rockies. And so through the long range, temperatures right across the prairies will continue to warm. Not necessarily warm this evening across the prairies, but, you know, pretty typical for this time of year. This evening, minus 11 in Winnipeg. That's your seasonal average for daytime highs and pretty quiet in Ontario as well. You know, I think uh, many Canadians feel that way, Nate. You know, it's great for Christmas, and then after that, we could live without the snow. I was taking a look at Bathurst's forecast specifically because this snow is going to last a little bit longer tonight in northern New Brunswick and into the Gaspé region of Quebec. If you go to our website, theweathernetwork.com, and you click in Bathurst, your hourly forecast has the snow continuing until about 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. If you need to do any traveling, I'd wait a little bit later tomorrow morning, and the snow really should be done. The bulk of the snow is over. Bathurst could pick up another 5 centimeters, 5 to 15 in around Gaspé. Bay, Quebec. So really the story is coming to an end tonight in the Maritimes, although it's going to be a bit of a showery but mild and windy day tomorrow in Newfoundland. A good 5 to 15 millimeters of rain and gusty winds is expected. You know, in Ontario, besides the weather, I think one of the biggest stories has been the price of gas. I paid 93 cents this morning. I was so happy to fill up the tank, but uh, here's Kevin Yard with a little more on that. Thank you very much, Kevin, for that. Um, by the way, because we keep talking about this potential Christmas storm for parts of Ontario and East, we're talking a week out, and it's always very hard to pinpoint exactly what's going to happen that far out when it comes to a storm that big. What we can tell you is that this evening is going to be relatively quiet, a very typical night. You know, cloud cover in the skies into northern Ontario, less cloud cover, fairly clear skies. It'll be a chilly night, 
but pretty typical for this time of year. Let's look at that long range forecast though, because really in Ontario, the big story this weekend, especially for Sunday and Monday, you're gonna notice your temperatures bumping up to above seasonal. So when this system moves in for Tuesday, it looks to be all rain and maybe even some rain snow mixing to the north. So that's the next system we have to worry about. And again, it could even be rain for the Maritimes as well for Tuesday. And this is not the big Christmas storm we're talking about. That would be uh, into Wednesday and Thursday, but these are the next rounds of active weather as far as the east is concerned. Now, what about the potential for a white Christmas in Winnipeg. <laughs> and I do think historically Winnipeg is sitting at about a 90% chance of seeing a white Christmas every year. We'll talk more about snow cover across the country coming up.